Hi guys, happy new year. Welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Kinsey. I make a lot of lifestyle vlogs, lifestyle videos. I love planning, I love organizing, working out, all of that stuff. So if you guys enjoy today's video, check out some others and subscribe. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I plan, how I organize and how I set goals. These are some of my favorite topics. I do not have the most crazy planning system. I have what I know works for me. I have tried so many things over the years. And now I'm sharing with you guys what works for me. I'm talking so much with my hands, but I'm a really big planner. I did it again. I'm a really big planner, and so I wanted to share this with you guys. Again, it's nothing too crazy. I love physical planners. I'm not currently using one. I probably, within the past year, have stopped. I use digital now because, one, it's really easy. It's on the go. It's with you all the time. But two, I'm not the only one who has control over my calendar. So digital just like, made the most sense. I'm going to start off with things that I use. I have my iPad Pro. This is so unnecessary. You do not need this, but I wanted to share how this helps me plan and also stay organized. Organized. Specifically with podcasting, it's really helped me, especially when I was in the studio pre-COVID. My iPad Pro is awesome. One, obviously, I use Google Calendar on there, and I can use the Notes app, which is what I always use. But it's really nice because it's just a small tablet. So if I'm not editing, I actually just pull and take my iPad Pro with me everywhere. I have the pin, I have the magic keyboard, I have the whole thing. I also love the app GoodNotes on my iPad. If I ever feel like I want to journal and I want to actually like write out certain ideas or create a mood board for a certain project that I want to do or whatever that might be, I use my iPad Pro for that a lot. Again, totally not necessary. That, that's just a tool that I use to stay organized. So I have a podcast, if you guys didn't know, it's the I Love You So Much podcast with Kinsey Elizabeth. I think you guys will really like it. It's lifestyle, it's conversational. We have a wide variety of guests. Recently, we just posted an episode with Dave Ramsey's daughter, actually all about finances. We just posted one with Gretchen, one with Dom. I don't know if this will be up before. We're gonna post a new episode with Maggie. We just have a lot of good content on there. So go over and subscribe. Anyways, all that to say, I got my iPad Pro originally because I would bring it with me to the studio all the time. And that was really, really helpful. So it is a great tool that I do personally use as far as getting organized and staying organized. It's not something that you would need to get, but I do get a lot of questions on my iPad Pro and what app I use for like the journaling and stuff. And that is good notes. And I do have my iPad Pro that I love. I'll have everything linked below. I also have the Apple Pen. I have the Magic Keyboard, I believe. It's the latest one. If you guys are looking for a physical planner, I really recommend Passion Planner. I actually have a podcast episode up with the founder of Passion Planner that I will link below as well. I love the company. I love the layout of the planner. I feel like it's really difficult to find the perfect planner. And for me, Passion Planner is like the closest thing to it. Okay, then obviously my Google Calendar. It's really helpful because I have other people that I work with that need to send me calendar things for things that I have or whatever. It's really great. You guys get the gist. You can share calendar invites, which is really, really helpful. I do this with friends in real life. I do it for podcast recordings. My team does it for other things that I had. They used to do it more pre-COVID. For certain calls, you have all the information there. You have the addresses. It's just all in one place and it's digital. So it's just easier. Sorry, Fitz is making so much noise. Fitz! I use the Apple Calendar for video uploads and podcast uploads. I'm trying to incorporate more like sit down, more specific videos. I plan my videos on my Apple Calendar and I also plan podcast episodes. That's pretty much all that I use it for, but it does really help and I do switch things around a ton. The last thing I use is my Notes app, which is probably my most used thing, honestly, even over Google Calendar, because I will go through and I will plan out my day and then I'll use my Notes app and I make my to-dos of every day. I'll show you guys how I do that. It's honestly been the biggest help for me. I really, really like doing it this way. Again, it's super easy, nothing too crazy, but it's really helped me. All right, so opening up the Google Calendar app. I don't have too much in my Google Calendar yet because I'm just now back to work. We're gonna go back to October of 2020 just so I can show you guys what I do. All right, so this is color coordinated and my planners have been color coordinating for the past like five years. Really helpful, one, because it shows if you were splitting your time wisely, but also I just find that it's more organized. So for me, green is church. I have church on here every Sunday, which I guess you still do digitally. I'm not going in person, obviously, but that's just something I have marked off weekly anyways. Pink is social, but a lot of these are not. Honestly, a few of these are off, so ignore that. The blueberry color is recording. Yellow is filming. Orange would be like meetings. Light blue, working out. Um, that's pretty much it. Dark gray or appointments. I feel like I said everything. So this is how I plan. I'm gonna show you guys what I would do currently now. So tomorrow, I'm actually finishing a quilt. 
because I am 23 going on 70. So I'm gonna type in quilt. That I believe is from probably like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I cannot believe that this is actually something I'm putting in my Google Calendar right now. And then I'm just gonna do pink because it's more like leisurely. So pink will be social, but it's kind of like leisure as well. Therapy actually, so I have therapy normally Thursdays at one. My therapy session this week got switched to two. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that just for this event. Fitz is also doing private training. So I'm gonna add in Fitz private training 4 p.m. on Thursday. So that's gonna be a dark gray because that is an appointment. Next week I'm on the 13th, I need to have a filming day. So I'm gonna do filming day. I typically will film between 11 a.m. to around like 2 p.m. That is yellow, so I'll switch that to the banana or whatever. Um, if I wanna add a description, this will be like Amazon faves video, um, cozy clothing collection, certain videos that I wanna film, right? So I try to block them off, that's another thing with planning and organizing my life. I'm a big fan of time batching, so I really like to have, okay, this day is for the living room. This day is for filming for my YouTube channel. This day is for podcast outreach and recording, things like that. I really like to keep them time batch. For example, on the 12th, I'm filming a new Bible study for the living room, which is my faith-based Patreon, if you guys are interested. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. I hope that that was helpful, but that's what I do. So then after I have my calendar planned out, I will go through this week to do. This is kind of repetitive, but it's honestly what helps me so much because I'm able to check things off. At the beginning of the week, I'll go through and put the main big things that I already have in my calendar on here. So for example, I actually already have this week's so I can show you guys right now. I put in a walk, then I worked out, I showered, and I did a 30 minute Devo. All that I can like kind of cross them out. I'm gonna do, I did my video planning and then I actually decided that I was gonna film today. So I'm gonna add that and do film. I'm doing that right now, so I'm not gonna check it off. Tomorrow, I have, I wanna do like a Bible study in the morning. I'm gonna do the quilt. Tomorrow was a way more relaxed day. Oh, and I'm recording Thursday. I have a hair appointment, therapy, dog training. I really am old, guys. Friday, um, dog grooming. I know I have dog grooming. This is my first week back. It's a way more chill, relaxed, laid back week. I had most of my content already filmed anyways. Then the day before or the night before, I will go through. So let's say tonight for Wednesday, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna say Bible study. Then I wanna work out. Then I wanna quilt. And the night before, I will add more in depth things that I know I need to get done. So then I have this and it changes throughout the week. I'm just constantly adding, constantly taking away, checking off. Then the night before, I will add in a a way more in-depth list as to what the actual structure of my day will be. I've been doing this way for probably like two years and honestly it's really helped me. So that's just what I do. Obviously it changes day to day. My life was way crazier pre-pandemic and when I was living in LA, obviously. So things used to be like hour by hour by hour, really, really structured. All right, and then for goal setting. So I don't actually like sharing goals because I feel like they're a very personal thing but I will share the structure in which I set my goals this year. I'm all for goals. I think you should always be working towards something, new year or not, but I also think the new year is like a fresh start and a great kind of reset. I love how Janatkin did it, so I did it completely how she did it. I know she does things that she wants to do more and be more of and less and stuff too. I didn't do that, but I did do this. So she does it by category. It was personal, health, career, recreational, home, spirituality, so that was faith for me. And then I added in another financial one and then I just set four goals. I think it's really important to keep your goals out where you can see them, so I'll add it to somewhere near my desk so I can actually visually see them. But that's how I goal set. And then as far as making a vision board, I don't need to explain that to you guys. I know everyone knows what a vision board looks like and has seen so many videos on YouTube, but I do think it's really nice to have a collection of photos of things that you want, but I also think it's extremely important to have action steps to how you're gonna get to that. So once you make your goals, I know you guys have probably heard about SMART goals. I don't remember the acronym, but essentially it's a goal that you set that is more likely that you'll achieve because there's actually like an actionable step that you can take. I think once you actually set your goals, then it's important to like make your plan of attack. Anyways, like I said, this is super simple. It's just how I do it. I think sometimes we think it has to be this really intricate way and really, I don't know, maybe like overcomplicates things, especially with goal setting, but I like to just keep it simple. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys stick around for the rest of my videos in the new year, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. As always, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, listen to the podcast, all that stuff. 
Hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!